our presentation. And um, this presentation is on assessment development. We have chosen a computer subject for the young four for our assessment because uh, as we all know that students really like computer and it is a motivation subject for them. And it, it is interesting, creative and also involves many kinds of practical in computer subject. And in this assessment, um, we have three parts. Part one is that research about um, the different kinds of assessment with their benefits. And the second one is that we have to develop two kinds of formative assessments and one uh, summative assessment. So I will cover the research and first formative assessment and my colleague will cover the rest of the uh, presentation, which is uh, formative assessment two and then the Summative assessment, which is not exam, so we have to make we have to be like creative and interesting for the students. So let's see our presentation, and I hope I hope you all will enjoy and like it. And in this, uh, we have done some research on different type of assessment and their benefits. The first one is the research um, practical experiment. Practical ex experiment can use in science, of course, because Students can test or experiment on something, and also we can use on computer subject because students have to do a practical uh, skill on this uh, assessment. And the benefits are practical assessment uh, is a really a powerful tool for the teacher to assess the student skills because uh, students have to achieve the learning outcome by themselves because they have to do something. It's not a kind of uh, multiple choice or writing or this one question. It really depends on themselves. Yep. And the second is uh, performance types. There is a big word of performance in type. In the other one, it involves many kinds of assessment, for example, or a presentation, or an exam, uh, research, particular exam, products, and then many kinds of things like research paper including. And the benefit of that, Mainly a student center design. And in the past, we have learned already that the teacher center and student uh, center. Student center is like the benefit of giving uh, a more, more choice for the student so that they will have more motivation, creativity, they will be more active, more engaged in learning, and also they, they can uh, do something out of the classroom but it's still academic learning. And it's also like a real world experience on the performance uh, types of assessment. And the third one is that we have um, projects. In the project, it measure many kinds of like measure really knowledge and skills of the student because project is a big job. It have to do many things like um, organize, or planning, organizing, managing, and many skills involved in a project. And it is a big kind of um, job to do. Also involve reporting and writing. Um, many things involved, so it is a kind of really measure the knowledge and skills of the group. And the first one is group work. As we all know that working individually and working as a group uh, can be different. Working as a group can have more protective. And then also student, we can uh, assess the peer assessment because working as a group, student can help each other, learn, learn from, from each other. And also it can involve like attitude uh, assessment because in a group work, we have to work uh, with other people. So we have to show like our effort, our hard working and also the, the, uh, the participation that we all have. So it also can be, we can assess the attitude assessment in, include in a group work. And the fifth uh, one is that discussion or we can also debate. In discussion and debate that the benefit are Students can improve their preparation skills because they have to prepare every details and in advance before the discussion and also it improves their group work participation and also that uh, it can help their leadership skills because in a discussion it involves many kinds of role and responsibilities. And the sixth one is that presentation, the benefit are is uh, improve the like, explanation skill and um, talking skills and also uh, can be benefited by academic skills because it involves many kind of um, skills in the presentation like they have to prepare the presentation using 
uh, languages and also in the speaking, they have to use a different kind of uh, communication with their group and also with the audience in front of themselves. Yeah. And the last one is role play. The benefit of the student can really adapt with the real world situation and in that role play they can learn new ideas and new content in the role play um, assessment. Yeah. These are all our uh, assessment, uh, all our research assessment and then some are like we already know and some are new for us to learn and to try in the school, especially this coming school year. Yeah. And we have created a formative assessment. The formative assessment one is about uh, assessing the writing and film making techniques. The learning outcome of this uh, formative assessment is that at the end of the topic, students will be able to do and apply the seven skills they have learned. They have learned by uh, taking the video in, in individually and then like uh, the video that they have to take have to be in the classroom also in around the school and then that by this video can help them really make this uh, learning outcome is really measure and assess or uh, link with this assessment this formative assessment one because at the end of the assessment student like can prove and also the teacher can analyze that do the student achieve this kind of learning outcome or not yeah, so let's see our guideline of the formative assessment one. The guideline is that only four. Uh, the first one is students have to use the seven techniques and by taking the video uh, with the phones or the tablet from the school individually. And then each video has to be one minute long and then they have 20 minutes of time duration. So after they taking a video before they submit to the teacher, they have to uh, complete the self-assessment on techniques to share to the teacher. Yep. The self-assessment uh, on techniques, uh, the benefit of this one is that uh, in, our, in our school, the students mostly like depend on the teacher for their learning. The self, this uh, self-assessment like help them like uh, think for themselves and then also like take responsibility of their learning. So it really helpful kind of assessment before they submit to the teacher. So this is the document that self-assessment techniques. So after they taking the video, they have to like tick or cross if they if they can if uh, they can do the video. If they tick, so they can do it. If they cross, so they have to write their comment or difficulty about uh, taking the video, maybe the phone problem or maybe the technique that they cannot uh, use the seven of them. So after they complete the, this uh, self-assessment, uh, to the, they will give to the teacher and then the teacher will give the uh, a plan feedback with a uh, kind of rubric for marking and teacher comments in this one. So it will have like seven techniques so with marking, marking criteria and with teacher's comments. So if they if they are uh, video if the your work is not really good they will get one we, have, we only have like two twice if not really good so one twice if like they can do it is also a good quality so it will be three three point or three marks after each um, techniques uh, the teacher will write a comment on the, the, the third column and then the, the student also can see the marks and also the comment in the assessment yeah, so uh, after we finish the uh, assessment one, so we come to the assessment two. So the assessment two uh, is the, that they need to, uh, after they take video, and then they need to bring their video, and then they need to uh, edit in the, the program called Formula Fisher. We also call that uh, Window Life Mood Maker. So the learning outcome of uh, this one is uh, at the end of the lesson, students will be able to use the formula program and then edit the video clip that they took for the assessment one. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's why for assessment one to assessment two is uh, connected. And then it's also linked that learning outcome that students are able to use the uh, formula program or they are not able to use the formula program. So as a teacher, we can easily understand that our students are able to use or not. And then here we have, uh, for assessment two, we have uh, some guidelines. 
lab. And this assessment you need to do in pair, you need to use a use of formula with your friend lab. You can choose the a pair beside you. And then you need to use the some kind of the main idea that teachers want to want them to do and formula program. So they need to use transition effect and also they need to adjust the lighting and then they need to add background music and uh, add the caption and the uh, video and then another one is that they need to uh, produce two minute video and high quality so those those video play that they took for assessment one and then they carry all assessment two and then they were editing formula and then they produce uh, a video and then here we use a peer assessment as a checklist. So in checklist is a you need to do with your peer lab lab two by two, and then these two can check to another two video, and then they can make some uh, yes or no. Do they use the transition? Do they use effect? And do they use lighting? And also the uh, do they add a title or caption in the video? And then uh, also that video. Uh, and all that video is only two minutes or more than two minutes or also time limitation and then they can say uh, if they use uh, this thing so they can say yes and then they can give some kind of comment to their friend uh, uh, you, uh, you use transition that you need to include in the maybe lighting adjustment or the other thing so we use this one as a peer assessment so by using this one students are able to know that what kind of thing do they need to improve more and then as a teacher also easy to understand that uh, do they really achieve the learning outcome of uh, this assessment or not yeah and then we come to the uh, plan outcome for feedback we use a product for marking and teacher comment so we have a uh, different criteria in here same with the uh, peer checklist so the same but this one is checked by the teacher. So the teacher will look their video that they produce that by they have edited by using framework program and they need to show to the teacher. The teacher take this feedback plan and then the teacher mark and the teacher also give the comment. But here we use the twelve mark, like so and then how many mark they got. And then the teacher can get for each criteria, the teacher can get each comment. So students can read and then they can uh, they, they can identify that what they need to do or what they need to improve. And then we will find a person and then we will show that how many person do they get out of 100 person. So this one is for the teacher to give feedback for the student. So here we come to the semantic assessment. So semantic assessment is mainly focused on the group project we are making. So Everything needs to be done by student. So responsible or responsible or student. Student need to do, student need to uh, type video, student need to add, student need to edit. And then everything they need to do. There is not no teacher work in there. Teacher can give the guideline and also the other things. But here the learning outcomes uh, uh, after this assessment, students are able to produce four minute long video. They need to use all the lighting techniques. So for uh, uh, assessment one, so this assessment is uh, the whole unit. We combine all things and then we make uh, a big summative assessment. So in here, they need to use a uh, uh, different kind of uh, lighting technique and then also they need to edit by using film or program and then they need to produce the uh, four minute short video. So uh, after after uh, the assessment like the teacher will able to analyze the if the student have to achieve a skill or if the student achieved the learning outcome of the, the whole unit. So we had different topic in this unit and then we combine all together and then we made a submit assessment. So by looking at their progress and also the uh, the thing that they done in this assessment as a teacher we know that uh, what they need to improve, or are they achieve the learning outcome of this unit or not? And then here we give some guideline. Number one, be in the group as a teacher provider. So teacher provide group for them, maybe four or maybe five of the student. And then they need to 
choose topic as a teacher gives. So teacher will provide a different kind of topic. So that group they need to choose one topic. And they need to write their own script. So uh, depending on the topic, they need to create their own script. So what they are going to say, what they are going to add in the video. And then they need to use different writing techniques. And also they need to take several video around the school or in the classroom. And then they need to uh, participate in a video. Like uh, everyone needs to be in, in a video clip. So and then they need to take at least two or three clips. Like a student needs to take two or three video clips. Because uh, sometimes like, some some students they just want to take video, they don't want to add in a video. And some students they just want to add in a video, they don't want to take a video. So we give this kind of guideline because we want to uh, to get all students who have a chance of taking and also editing and also editing. And then uh, they need to use Filmora for editing and then they need to make a group discussion and choose some background music and then they need to produce four minute video. At the end of the producing the video, they need to make a presentation about uh, uh, what they have learned and then they need to reflect and also they need to discuss with a friend and then to create a PowerPoint presentation for the teacher. And then for the sanity assessment, we use the process and participation assessment for any individual student. Even the job is for group work, but we also focus on the individual student. So we use the different criteria. Number one is uh, cooperation, number two is patient, and then skill input and then class attendance. Those are the program that they that they already face in the classroom. So depending on the cooperation, patient, scale input, and class setting, that we get different mark. Like if you have uh, just little cooperation or uh, impatient or uh, uh, absent class more than forty percent, so teacher will not give you high mark. So you need to be uh, sixteen or you need to be one the attendant to get a high mark. So this one, so the one is uh, 20. And then we combine all together and we get here for 20 but per student. This is the first part of the assignment. And then second part is the product assignment and teacher feedback. So because the summary assignment is producing something, so a project, so they need we need to focus on the, the quality and then what kind of product that they produce. So here we have a different criteria. Number one, organizing idea, and then driving script, video script, performance, and editing script, and presentation, we group refreshing. So we use all criteria for our market. And here for instance, so maybe we may focus on creating idea and creating creative way of taking video or editing video. So here like organizing idea, creating a realistic idea. So we want them to get this part. And then here also like using different writing technique and including creative writing skill. And this uh, teacher not focusing on what teacher has been teaching to them. Teacher want to see some different, some creative writing technique, which created by themselves. So and then also, we focus on the realistic and reasonable script. So, not just funny, not just a, a sad video. It needs to be realistic. And then by seeing that video, we can feel and then we can see what the video is really about. And then, we need a confidence and we're at it. But as of this culture, a lot of students, a lot of young people, they shine a lot. So, by doing this assessment, like, they will they will improve their confidence and also that they are able to do something in front of the people. And then and then we focus on the for editing so we focus on the perfect use of editing too because we already teach how to edit a video and here they need to do by themselves. And then clear and we stretch a good refreshing. So when we do refreshing they need to make a group presentation so they need to discover their group. So that's why we want you to talk a lot and discussion during a group discussion and then we share each other and then this one is for the party mark so 
the first part is 20 bar, this part is 30 bar, so combine the two is 15 bar, and then we will make 100 equal to 15 bar. So, and then this part, like, because this part has power one, but not actually, and then this fine, this one a lower one. So you can download into this one. Every, every piece of like this one, we can put the link in here, so you can go and download and check clearly. If you're not clear that one. So teacher feedback, like teacher can get uh, feedback, not just only one teacher. Normally we invite two or three teachers to come and see the video presentation. So different teachers can also get feedback and then we write all together and then this part. And then a student will be able to understand that what they need to improve more and then they, they can power themselves and then how where they are. And then so these are we're able to share what you need to improve in the future. And then these are we're able to identify the need of the student and then do they achieve the learning outcome for the whole unit or not. Yeah. And then so this is the last part. This is our reference. And then, yeah. Thank you for your participation.